Hey guys, your boy so welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be taking a look at 911 Lone Star Season 3 Episode 4. So without further ado, let's get it started. <laughs> Squeeze my hand. Just squeeze my hand. Go. You can keep your weasel hands as far away from me as possible. How about that? So we have a running weasel theme here. All right. Why don't I go do some foraging? Maybe I can find a card that still drives. At least has a working radio. Yeah, I think that would be wise. Yeah, like my truck. You just dropped me off. Who's back in town? Oh, it's a whole story. What, uh, where is he now? I assume home. Why? I still got no service. I, uh... You get him to sign the Billy letter? What are you doing here? I thought you were assigned to the 129. Captain Tatum loaned me to the 162 to help dig Paul out. Dig Paul out? Dig him out of what? Gym collapse. Over at the Providence Pastor Church. What was he doing over there? We were all there. After the first collapse. You are aware that you start your stories in the middle, yeah? <laughs> so did you get it. How do you like the new look? Yeah, you're right. It's pretty much just the same old look. No reaction, huh? Really? How about this? This give you a reaction? Yeah. Captain Vega. Oh. But I don't think that's right. I think it's because mine did. You were right. I gave up. I quit. And it wasn't about ego or pride. I wish it was. It was about fear. Our, our world imploded so spectacularly and everybody was looking to me to put it back together and... It's something afraid. he can do. Look, I don't know if I can fix the world in time for my my boy to wake up but when he does I want him to see that he's not the only strand who's still fighting would you like some company captain I would love that you can reach me on my radio if you need me hey cat it's good to have you back Snowflakes keep it from my boy when he's hurting. Does that know you're here? What is he gonna say? Well, I, I appreciate it. A few months ago. Well, why didn't you say anything? I wanted to, but it was so amazing how you and Dad supported us. I just didn't want to let you down. Carlos, there is nothing you can do to let us down. Your father and I are so proud of the man you are. You have no idea how proud. But heaven forbid. So this is your last chance to say what you need to say to this man. Hazlo, mijo. Front, but he's gone. We are wondering if you might know where they are. There is no they. Grace ain't going nowhere with Billy. So look around, see if you can find a pink duffel. Okay, that's her go bag for the hospital. Yeah, there's no baby bag. <sighs> well, then she must have gone into labor of all the damn day. Hi, Chetty. We've radioed every hospital within 20 miles, and no one's got her. 
Yeah, which means that she's stuck out there in this. Where were you planning on having the baby? Remember when Carlos's townhouse burnt down? Who can forget? So many innocent hoodies lost their lives that night. After that, you know, we were staying with Dad while looking for a place, and Carlos eventually found this loft downtown with polished concrete floors and great light and, you know, walking distance to some amazing nightlife. That sounds fantastic. Oh, you have no idea. I was so in love with it, but, man, I... Because things were too good. Everything was perfect. And then you did the thing. I did the thing. You blew it up. I blew it up. I hurt him so bad, Mom. What if he doesn't want to take me back? Okay. All right, Danny, come on. You're up. Oh. You got it, Grace. You got it, Grace. much nicer than I remember. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is that a throw blanket? Did you break into my house and move me in while I was in the hospital? <laughs> no, of course not. But here, let me in. like our father's name. Mm -hmm. Now we, um, we just wanted to honor him, T. We don't want to overstep in any way. Yeah, if it's, if it's uncomfortable or anything, you know, we ain't married to it, so. I like it. by thanking the Robertson family. This generous gift to the AFD allowed us all to be here together today. It's the least we could do after what your people did for us. <laughs> Which bucket's for them? I'm gonna have to go with whichever one belongs to the daughter of the man who bought the table and the building that it's in. That's <laughs> us. Oh, Red. Red. Oh, Red. 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 Hey, hippie, you want to hold her? Uh, that's all right. Probably just make her cry. That's the effect you have on most people, but she's got to get used to you sometime. Come on. All right. 
to me. Mom? Is she really here? She's late. Oh, she's here. I am so sorry that I missed the ceremony. So why didn't you tell us you were coming? Because I didn't know if I could, and your father thought it would be more fun to surprise you. Hi, Carlos. Hi, good see you. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Hey, hey, oh my, don't squish your brother. He is going to be a heartbreaker. Am I crazy or does he kind of look like me? You're crazy. I guess we know now what Paul asked for. He didn't get the Maserati, so he uh, he asked to uh, for the guy to pay off the the building, buy the building that they're 126, which is actually pretty nice, man. I'm really happy they're back, man. Uh, TK is all right, thank God. New place with Carlos is really he really did it so it's not uh, it's really great to see that Marjan is back um, Judd yeah Judd and his new baby and his wife I'm happy that everything worked out for him I told you he's he has to be there boy it's always been you know it's always gonna be like that but yeah man he's not gonna stop him from seeing his kid but I'm happy Owen's back in charge again you know 126 is back baby. So I can't wait to see what, uh, what happens next now, man. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video.